told us when you see their trucks on the road, please give them some extra space. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast. That's weather coverage you can count on. And weather specialist Nick Dunn is in tonight. And, you know, we've been talking about, I'm not ready for winter yet. but No, it's it, definitely too soon. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you have to prepare for it. But it's just been kind yeah. of gloomy, kind of just, you know, I used the word blah earlier. Now I'm using yik. Yeah, blah, <laughs> yik. Um, I don't know, gross just maybe normal? or something. Oh, yeah, normal for fall for sure. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, not seeing much of a change out there this evening. You can see as we look over downtown Dayton, mostly cloudy skies and 52 degrees. So, Temperature-wise, we're not too bad. There's a little bit of a northwest wind, though, so if you do happen to have the windows open this evening, a little bit of the cool side out there for us, but uh, certainly some things that we can kind of tolerate out there. A light northwest wind at about 9 miles per hour, and temperatures, thanks to those clouds, are not too much of a variety out there across the Miami Valley this evening. A lot of 50s on the border of Annabelle, Fountain, Greenville, and Richmond as well, 52 in Springboro and in Xenia. These clouds are going to help us, at least will help us kind of stay more on the warmer side of things for tonight, thank you. We won't see any 30s, I don't think, tonight with those clouds. They kind of act as a blanket, if you would, to kind of keep us a little bit milder out there. So look at those headlines for us. A cool night ahead. Cloudy skies are going to start the day for us on Tuesday as well, but we should start to see some sunshine later in the day. We could really use some sun just kind of boost the overall morale out there. And then we're tracking our next rain chance as well as another system set to move in late in the week. Is it me, or are we just kind of in a little bit of a pattern, it seems like, of these late-week storm systems? For the bus stop tomorrow morning at the pickup, 44 degrees, cloudy skies. I would definitely recommend a jacket first thing in the morning and into the afternoon. Be a little optimistic here. We're going to start to see some slow clearing. It's not going to be a very quick process, but a little bit of sun should start to poke through during the afternoon hours tomorrow. And highs tomorrow still staying below 60 degrees. So here's how future cast sees the clearing going. In the morning, you're going to wake up with plenty of cloud cover, so don't expect a ton of sunshine. Into the afternoon, though, you start to see the clouds gradually thinning out. Some of us, especially to the north and west, will see the sun first. It'll take some time. As we get even into Wednesday morning, more and more sunshine should start to poke its way through. And then we have a little bit of rain on the way as we get towards the middle and latter portions of the week. By Thursday morning at midnight, we're starting to see the clouds rolling back in. You see some rain off to the northwest. And all rain chances will start to increase as we get to Thursday and Friday and Saturday. 60% chance of rain for Thursday. Start to decrease a little bit for Friday and Saturday. Very similar to this past weekend where we had a system that just kind of lingered around with us a little bit. Let's kind of time that out for you a little bit. So some rain comes in Thursday morning, and we may catch a little bit of a break into the afternoon, and then some spotty lighter showers likely to linger around on Friday. Kind of this ick, as Gabby described, more clouds and some lingering showers into Friday. Now, this run of future cast does start to dry us up a little bit into the day on Saturday. Not sure that that's going to totally be the case. Sometimes when these systems come through, they tend to kind of get uh, locked up up here across the Great Lakes, and so clouds kind of tend to stick around a little bit, and so do those showers as well. So let's look at that seven-day forecast. You can see how things are going to plan out as we go through the rest of our week. So Wednesday looking to be the best day this week, mid-60s for us. Then chances of rain Thursday, Friday, and potentially to Saturday. We'll cool it off as we get towards Sunday, and we should see more sunshine by Sunday, Monday as well. Thank you, Nick. The military needs more men and women, but is having a hard time getting new recruits. We're breaking down which branches are not meeting their goals, what they're doing about it. 